Hi everybody. So in this video, we're going to look at simplifying algebraic fractions using the order of operations. So in example one, we've been asked to show that all of this can be simplified to 5x minus 9 over x minus 2. So the first thing we're going to do, we know when we divide with fractions, we change this to a multiplication and we reciprocate this fraction. So this becomes multiplied by x minus 3 over x squared minus 4. And now we can factorize this denominator using the difference of two squares. So this becomes x over 3 over x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 2. And now this multiplication of x plus 2 will cancel with this division of x plus 2. And it will cancel because the same thing divided by itself will make 1. So now we can rewrite this bracket. We get 6 minus x minus 3 over x minus 2. And now essentially what we have are two fractions with different denominators. Because this 6 can be written as 6 over 1. And to get the common denominator, we need to multiply this 6 and 1 by the x minus 2. So now we get 6 lots of x minus 2 over x minus 2 minus this fraction. And now we've got the common denominator, we can write this as a single fraction all over x minus 2. And it's important to remember that we're subtracting all of this x minus 3. A common mistake here would be to subtract the x but not include that negative 3. That's why I've put this in brackets here. Okay, so now we can just expand out the brackets. So we get the 6x minus the 12 minus the x and then plus the 3 all over x minus 2. We can collect these like terms. So we get 5x and then minus the 9 all over x minus 2. And that's exactly what we were asked to show here. Okay? Let's try another question. Okay, so in example 2, we've been asked to show that all of this can be simplified to make this fraction. So perhaps you want to try this question yourself. You can pause the video, and when you come back, we'll go through the work solution. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So if we look at this denominator, you can see we can factor out the 4 because 4 is a factor of both terms. And in this quadratic, we can factor out a 2 because the 2, negative 6 and negative 56 are all even. So we've got 5 over 4 lots of x minus 7. And then factoring out this 2, we've got 2 lots of x squared minus the 3x minus the 28. And now we can factorize this quadratic by considering the factors of this negative 28. There are six possible combinations that multiply to make the negative 28, but only one of them will add to make the negative 3. And this is the negative 7 plus the 4. So our factors will be x plus 4 and x minus 7. But now you can see this multiplication of x plus 4 will cancel with this division. So we can cross these out and I'll rewrite this bracket. So we get 2x plus 3 over 2 lots of x minus 7. And now to add these two fractions together, we need a common denominator. So all we need to do is multiply the numerator and denominator of the right fraction by 2. So we'll get 4x plus 6 over 4 lots of x minus 7. And now we've got that common denominator, we can write this as a single fraction. And collecting the terms on our numerator, we get 4x plus 11 over 4x minus 28. Okay? Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. If you did find that helpful, please like and subscribe. And you can download the full lesson from my website, mrmathematics.com. I'll leave a link in the description below.